All right, well, out in the famous parking lot, Ariel's brought her Scion. This is a... 2011 Scion TC. And obviously front wheel drive car. Yes. She's about to answer. <laughs> go, girl, uh, go. She knows. Are these things two, two liters it. or one point? They're actually 2.5 liters. What? Yeah, it's wow, a big that's motor. A, that's a big four banger. Yeah, it's a real torquey. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I'm surprised for some reason. I didn't know Scion made that big. I mean, almost, well, Subaru makes a four cylinder that's 2.25. Two two yeah, they actually but, have a 2.7 version of it as well. Oh, they do? Yeah. Well, I didn't even know that. But yeah, it's about as big as a four-cylinder gets these days, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, naturally aspirated? Yes. Um, and this is a stock car with what added to it for racing? It has Toyo tires, Adban wheels, TRD brakes, and teen suspension. It has exhaust, our Gymkhana exhaust. It sounds real beefy. Uh, it runs Motul oil and NGK spark plugs. I think uh, I think you're just reading the side of the car. Yeah, like, there's got to be there's got to be something that you guys are doing to this car to make it different. Like what kind of power you guys are making on a naturally aspirated motor? This it, car's this motor is making just shy of 200 horsepower. I think I I think that the uh, car that I drove in the uh, Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, yeah. celebrity version, of course, mm -hmm. was, uh, I think it was basically this. It was the older model. It was the last model that, last of this. Yeah. yeah, and they had a supercharger on it. Yeah, those, but, those cars were basically stock with a Vortex supercharger. Very low boost. It was only adding maybe 30 horsepower or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they weren't, but, they weren't uh, very fast. And they, but it was the same sort of thing. They had, they had some suspension, some safety some cat back work and a little engine tweaking, but it was sort of a stock car that was breathed on. But it was a ton of fun because everyone else was driving the same yeah. the yeah. same car. Although the year before, or three years before, or five years before when I drove it, they had a Toyota Celica, Celica you were driving. and it was yeah. naturally aspirated. And that motor tacked to about nine grand. Uh -huh. And it just was more fun to race because this one stopped at about six grand mm -hmm. and because it was supercharged and it was you know still fun but it wasn't as fun as getting that thing up to up to nine grand what's mm -hmm. this thing tack up to um it redlines at 68 and that's about when you shift yeah right before that because the power is on the top end of the map where uh, can we open the door and yeah. take a look at uh, what you got in here yeah it's a new car we just got it this year so we're still R&Ding components for it uh -huh. um, and we're still adding things as the season goes on like next we're actually putting some racing seats in there so it can feel a little bit more tight in, in there because uh, dad where's around. the roll cage roll cage I feel well, like yeah. well we want to keep the here. car relatable to the market. Yeah. That's why we haven't put a turbo on there and made it some crazy car. <laughs> yeah, Seems like safety remain, is the least though. You want to be relatable thing, right? for Actually, college in a few years. Yeah, this right? car's, <laughs> the car's a really strong car to start with, uh -huh. but we'll probably put cages in for next season. Uh, we want, we want to run in that. We want to run a different no series next year. There's no requirement at least, right? Like you're saying, the glass roof and, and a cage, there's no, like even a four point bar requirement? No requirement it at all. It depends on the class you're in. The higher up classes do have more requirements. So when you get faster, is that yeah. what you're saying? Okay. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's the... Uh, that blue color adds about 20 horsepower. 22. 22. <laughs> 22. 22. With a sticker on it. 22. <laughs> the sticker's another half. So you're right, it looks pretty stock. It is. Correct. Completely. I know we're close to bone stock here, but at least we have a cat back system, right? So it's going to make a pretty decent sound, right? Axle back. Oh, There's yeah. just a bolt-on piece on the back, and it, it deletes one muffler. Oh, and it's, so, it's a megaphone shape, so it just amplifies so the So there's a cat back system and an axle back system. Right. Well, there's there's three parts to an exhaust. There's a downpipe, which comes off the turbo. <laughs> you are telling me about the downpipe. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm practically invented the downpipe. And then the midpipe <laughs> that just runs along the length of the car. Sure. And then there's the axle back piece, which is the tailpipe, basically. It must so suck for parts. the guys who date you, who are like, <laughs> I think I know something about cars, sweetie. And then you just... <laughs> nail them with yeah. all this crap so your <laughs> axle back mm -hmm. which uh sounds like a good beer 
Hey, you axle, go. Back. axle back on tap. Yeah, I've tried it. It's awesome. It's Jim Connor That's perfect axle for back. one of my projects nice. I'm doing for school. I need to yeah. create a beer label and might do axle back. Oh, really? Back. Yeah. I'll make axle back. Okay. I'd, 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 but spell it Bach. <laughs> Bach? Okay. <laughs> I think people would buy that. Well, uh, we have to fire the car up, otherwise yeah. our, our listeners and viewers get pissed off. Deal. Well, it has a good sound. So uh, good should, sound. We, should we do that? Well, let me grab the key. Fire it up. Oh, the key's inside. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I had a I had a Toyota Grand Prix flashback right yeah, there because yeah. it's exactly what those cars sounded like. Yeah. yeah. I heard they gave you a car that both sides were smashed on. Well, when he was done, I mean, he <laughs> fixed it. He fixed it. He fixed it. It was an improvement. Okay. Uh, Did you yeah. Did some aerodynamic changes to it on the track? It got a little rowdy the last time I drove. Yeah. Uh, in it, the thing about celebrities is they have big egos no <laughs> they do <laughs> and uh you, you know you really need to be in your car mm -hmm. to really kind of keep you on the straight and narrow okay or at least have a guy like you who would yell at a guy like tim allen when he came back and mm -hmm. ruined ruined your car but you remove the part where it's your car and you don't have to pay yeah. for it and no one says anything to you and it's fun and it, that's when the fun goes up. It's the weirdest thing in the world doing one of those races because you make contact with the other cars constantly. Okay. I mean, our, our buddy Tanner Faust, I mean, at a certain point, uh, this guy's just mashing into you. Like, yeah, he's gonna push you out of the way. Uh, doesn't care. He'll run right over like the flower pot, you know, and just yeah. go right through the, right through the S's there. Just, uh, those guys are off the track. Uh, the, the one I did, car, car was on fire. This past track? year, somebody flipped a car. I think one of the guys from the show True Blood flipped it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Which is impressive. I would just, all I said to everyone was, listen, I know you're all going to go berserk at a certain point. Let us get five of our 10 laps under our belt, like a semi-reasonable race. And clean ones and in. And then you can go because it sucks training for three months and getting taken out in the first corner. You know? That's exactly like, why females are great in racing. Is that the reason? Tell that to Peekaboo Street, <laughs> because she was in my first one and she cut me off right at the, I mean, I got a great green green flag. They waited and waited on that green flag and everyone thought we were going around again and I saw it. You got the start, and she huh? cut me off and then someone spun her out in the very first corner at mm -hmm. the end of Shoreline and she was pissed off. But yes, anyone other than competitive downhill skiers, I, uh, I think, yes, you guys are more sensible. I, I believe so. That's why you're better parents. I got pissed off this season though. Get, what happened? We had a play day. Adrian Brody cut you off? <laughs> no, I got punted. You got punted? On a play day. Oh, you one got of black the other flag? Silent drivers. Um, no, uh, punted means it's like a NASCAR. When there's a car on the inside and a car on the outside and they're racing for the finish, the inside guy touches, the outside guy spins him out, oh, takes really? over. It's exactly what happened That's to me. Punted? Uh huh. I probably got punted a time or two on that track myself. And in road course racing, there's no contact. You stay yeah. away from each other, you know? This is enthusiast racing. And it was a play day and uh, another did, did driver. Did you find a little bit of testosterone oh, yeah. going on? Oh, yeah. Fella. Had some words. <laughs> Send him an invoice. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Fix this. How much punting damage uh, took place? Um, it took out the wheel. It was bent and shredded. And the quarter panel was pushed in. Wow. So we had to replace the entire rear quarter panel and the wheel, and thank God there was no suspension damage or anything, but uh, it was unfortunate because it's play day. Not, stuff like that's not supposed to happen. All right, so next time we see you, this thing's going to have a cage, fire bottle, seats, turbo, and uh, we're going all the way. 600 horsepower. 600 horsepower. <laughs> and, Carbon uh, fiber roof and, and the whole thing. And uh, not just the uh, axle box. We'll, Axel we'll yeah. go. Uh, we'll get rid of the cats uh, all together. Uh, so where do we find you guys online if people want to check you out? Crawfordperformance.com. Crawfordperformance.com. I guess you guys can all uh, spell that, right? Yeah, that's where you can find that. And there's also scionracing.com. You can go on there and do Ask the Driver if anybody wants to ask me any questions. Um, and then we also have our Facebook pages, Crawford Performance, Ariel Crawford Racing, and also Michelle Abadi is my teammate. She's got a Facebook page as well. Yeah, Sion, Sorry about the... Sion uh, has all the stuff as well on Facebook. Yeah. Sorry about the helicopter, but I think people uh, picked it up all right. You guys all right? All right. So, till next time, Sam Corolla saying,
keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel.